is a problem that affects one in three women, and some are too embarrassed to talk about it. Now, they call it light bladder leakage. I call it the spritz. But it's, you know what I'm talking about. I chew, ah. And it's something I've always wanted to shed light on so that people would understand that it is a common problem and that you can do something about it. And here to tell us all about it is the founder of the Women's Health Foundation, Missy Lavender. Missy. Thank you, Missy. Now, this is what a lot of people associate, you know, uh, leaking bladder with older women, but you're saying that it can affect you know, every woman, so. Right, so light bladder leakage affects one in three women, like Whoopi said, so there's about 16 million women and they're 18 year old girls to older and women. what is it? That's what I should have Yeah, so light bladder leakage is leaking when you don't want to. Okay. So with exertion or exercise, so you laugh, cough, sneeze, bend over, pick something up, go for a jog, and you spritz. And I'm gonna go here, hopefully it's not TMI, we're talking about leaking urine. Leaking like urine. Yeah. Want yes. to. And you know, uh -huh. I, I, I'm always, I always fetch about the, the LBL, that label, because it sounds so terrible. It sounds like you're a faucet, and that every time you're walking, you're going drip, drip, drip. But that's not no. what's happening. It is, as you just explained it, you know, you're when laughing. you, you <laughs> laugh, you sneeze, and it, yeah. there it is, and it's not like you pssst. So it's not like we're talking, you know, it's, but it's enough to it's cause a it. It's uncomfortable. Right. And Absolutely. It sometimes is. it's short term. So mm -hmm. sometimes you're pregnant or you have a urinary mm -hmm. tract infection or you're constipated. And if you resolve those issues, it can go away. And sometimes it's more chronic and long term. Mm -hmm. So that's things, uh, the big risk categories are delivery, vaginal delivery in particular, right. but also being overweight or obese, diabetes, menopause, mm -hmm. even pelvic surgery can See, affect everything. the pelvic health. <laughs> everything. Huh? Everything. And you know what, Whoopi, you are working with Poise, and yes. you're appearing in, in uh, online videos to bring this to everybody's attention. Yes. So what, why is this health issue so important to you? Well, because it, it's one of those things that we should be able to say, hey, does this happen to you? And when it began to happen, because, you know, you suddenly go down the street and you sneeze and your drawers are wet. Yeah. And they're not wet, wet. They're just damp, and you think, did I just pee my pants? <laughs> You know, I think a lot of people know what you're talking about. Yes, no but we, yes. we don't talk about it, so nobody knows about this. So what we all do is we go into the bathroom, we wad up big old things of toilet paper, we put it there in the hopes that it will dry. Or we take a sanitary napkin and we use it. You cannot use a sanitary napkin. How come? Well, so really important question. So sanitary napkins are made to absorb blood from your period, right. and there are pads that are made specifically for leaks. Yes. That. Yeah, and for that. And the, I'm telling you, that these are not diapers. These are panty liners. That's all you need. Right. Well, you know what? Well, also, we wanted to say you got so, <laughs> you got, we, we got some of your online videos, so yes. can you tell everybody a little bit about what, what we're going to see? Well, I want, I, as I said, I wanted to find a way, a funny way to get the conversation started. So. Boy said, well, what do you want to do? And I said, well, let me do, you know, great women in history <laughs> who may have had these issues. The leakage issue. The, the spritz. The I spritz. never call they it the leakage the because, again, Excuse it sounds me. like a sink. Yeah. So, uh, so I put together some, <laughs> some okay. women in history. Let's see the women in history. You know, I, I have a problem. Every time they come near me with the big fire, I get nervous and a little spritzer. I went, and my God, such a puddle. I'd been leaking for years, years. Oh, somebody would give you a bit of a tickle, and then the next thing you know, boop, you're wet. It is damp, really damp. It's uncomfortable. Anybody want to tell me what's going on? No one wants to talk. And I didn't have anyone to ask because no one would tell me. There's no other women here. One in three women have this issue. I don't want to be painted, I want to be dry. And I am then dry, free to fight for my honor, for the honor of France, for my underpants. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Liberty, liberty. Brilliant. Well, this won't be on television. These are webisodes, so oh. you can go to... Uh, Where can you go I, to see these? Well, I believe you can go to... One in three women like one me. One in three women like me. And what we'll is it? it on our website. What was it like and to we'll film that? It was great fun, you know? And again, you know, I figured if I could get people just to pay attention, 
and and recognize that this is something that happens to everybody. pretty much everybody yeah. at some point in their life that maybe we could take the ugly onus off of it get women to stop thinking that it's not something we should talk about get them to know that mm -hmm. this is not about wetting your pants and needing a diaper but just a panty liner it's very simple and it's easy to do and it's easy to take care of. So that's why I wanted to do it. And for more information on anything we just talked about <laughs> or to see one of these dopey webisodes, this which I love, great. check out our website and everybody in the audience is going home with a girls' night in gift bag. What? Yeah.